National Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judd joins us now. So you just heard that statement that Carly read. Do you agree with that statement? Yeah, Chris Cabrera is one of my vice presidents. He knows exactly what's happening in RGV. Um, he's been doing it, like he said, for, for 20 years. Um, I'm going on 25 years now, and I can tell you that everything that we're currently seeing is absolutely unprecedented. We know that we can't do the job that we were hired to do. Um, we know that there are hundreds of thousands, um, you know, close to a million people have already escaped apprehension. We don't know who those people are, where they're coming from, what their, what their intentions are here in the United States. We want to protect the American public. We want to protect our children here in the, in the U.S., and the American people are the ones that are suffering through Biden's um, policies. These open border policies that are inviting these people to cross our borders illegally um, continue to destabilize our entire system, and we just can't do what's necessary. Yeah, you mentioned policy, and there is also the Remain in Mexico policy. This is the one our, our viewers know that forces migrants to stay in Mexico while they await their court date here in the United States, and a federal judge uh, demanded the Biden administration implement this policy, but he's barely doing it. Out of the 1.5 million encounters for the year, just 4,000 were placed in this program. And Brandon, this could solve the border crisis. So what orders uh, have Border Patrol been given when it comes to remain in Mexico? Well, we haven't been given absolutely anything. If you look at where it's taking place, um, we've got nearly 2,000 miles of continuous border uh, from California to Texas with Mexico. And what we're seeing is we're, we're enrolling a few people every day in certain locations, but it's not across the board. It's not across the entire United States. When you look at how well um, MPP or Remain in Mexico worked, we dropped to 45-year lows in illegal immigration. When we do that, we can then go after the cartels. We can go after their profits. We can... Uh, try to keep as, as much fentanyl out of our country as possible, which again saves the lives of children. Yet this administration doesn't care about that. They care about open border activists. They care about pandering to a far left base rather than protecting the lives of our children. And that is crazy when you think about it. It's a president of the United States. He's supposed to be doing his job for the American people. Rather, he's doing it for the cartels. And then let's talk about uh, the border czar, Kamala Harris, who is seemingly absence uh, absent when it comes to this uh, do you expect this administration to ever do anything about this because i mean the border patrol agents they're understaffed by 2000 at least um, the encounters just keep going up do you think at the very least they'll say hey we messed up we've got to try and get a hold on this or do you think there's no end in sight there, there's not. When, when you go back to the first three months of this administration, we hit over 170,000 apprehensions um, in April of last year. And we thought for sure, every single agent thought for sure, that's going to be the ceiling. That's going to be the time that this administration is going to do something to drive these numbers back down. We know that they can. We know that it's simply through policy, yet they're not doing anything. And, we, and as we thought that we hit the ceiling and those numbers continue to rise, we're at 240 thousand apprehensions right now. We, when you look at the gotaways, the, the nearly million gotaways that we've had, that's what we know of. We don't know what has actually come into the United States. We don't know what has gotten away. And then on top of that, the million that we've already released, we've added more than two million people to our population right now. And that's a, that's a short one, one and a half years of this administration. Yeah. Border Patrol agents have apprehended 50 people trying to sneak into our country on the terror watch list. Um, when you think about, what, 440,000 known gotaways, that is a terrifying prospect. Uh, here's another headline we want to get to, though. Uh, former Border Patrol chiefs from the last three administrations, uh, Bush, Obama, Trump, they all penned a letter together to DHS, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas regarding potentially disciplining the agents falsely accused of whipping Haitian migrants in September. And the letter reads in part, we ask that you and the deciding officials ensure a fair an impartial review of the facts, we collectively believe and point out that the statements made by the president and vice president uh, predictively prejudged the desired outcome of the investigation and may therefore influence the case. How do you feel about this? The, um, this is, you know, a bipartisan letter, meaning um, agents from the last three administrations speaking out against punishing these agents. 
Yeah, I know every single one of these chief patrol agents, and I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to accomplish a, a fair uh, process for these agents. Look, these agents did absolutely nothing wrong. Secretary Mayorkas was down there while the horse patrol was deployed to try to stop all of these people from, from coming in. This was the single largest illegal immigration event in our history, and yet this administration didn't do anything. But when the Border Patrol sent these agents down to try to stop people from, from crossing, of course there's going to be cameras. Of course there's going to be seen that uh, there's going to be taken pictures and video. But to cherry pick a few um, pictures and say that these agents did, did something wrong, that's disgusting. And what makes it worse is that President Biden, he already um, convicted these, these individuals without all of the facts and without an investigation. And that should never happen in the United States. Mm -hmm. And Brandon, you're hosting a conference at the border later today with GOP senators. What can we expect um, out of that meeting, especially when it comes to this crisis in border security? Well, we're hoping to highlight for the American public. If the mainstream media would actually pick this up, if they would actually tell the American people the truth about what's going on, this would stop. But the American people, they don't know. They don't understand the harm that, that uh, the lack of border security is causing. We will, ne we will not know everything that is, that is happening for years to come because of the millions of people that have already entered this country. We're hoping to highlight this. We're hoping to, to, to let the American people know exactly what is happening on their southwest border. Okay, Brandon Judd, early with us this morning on Wednesday. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.